today we're at the Horse and Jockey. So the Horse and Jockey was built in the 18th century and the current owner's had it since 2019. It's a nice play park for the kids. Very nice country pub. Anyway, it gets the name from, well, I'll probably best show you the sign and you can read yourself. So the name of the pub comes from a, a local horse, a grey, and it was owned by Lord Poulet. And it was one of the few grey horses to have won the Grand National twice. In fact, it won it in 1868 and 1871. Just before we set off, I'll show you the pub garden. It's one of the nicest pubs around for kids, I think. Lots of space. Lots of things to play on. And even a little stream that runs through the gardens. Oh, and a dinosaur. I wonder if he came from Black Gang Chinese. Looks familiar to me. We start the walk turning right from the pub a short distance on the main road. It's only a very short distance. That's a very handy grass verge to walk along anyway. And at the sign we're going to turn right towards Budley Mill, Hogate and Ho Cross. Down this lane here. So you see some pots up the lane here and a barn in the distance. Look out for a gap in the bushes where the footpath is on the left and we're going to go through this gate. So here we have the Granny Granny pop out of beds. I think I've shown this once on another video, what we used to do as kids, but I'll show it again. You've got your flower and you've got this bit at the bottom. And as kids, we used to say, Granny Granny pop out of bed. <laughs> and away it goes, just left with the green bit at the bottom. Ah, never had computer games in our day. And we have another gate, a few overgrown bushes. And once through the gate, we're heading off in the general direction of that green barn. Uh, thankfully, Home Moor is dry today. A little bit difficult to locate. There's a little footbridge there. Well, the blackberries are starting to ripen. Poor specimens though those are. And we continue through the field. A nice weeping willow tree, underneath which is a gate. So we come to the end of the path. It's a friendly dog, as you can hear. <laughs> and we're going to turn right along the lane. As we carry on forward, this becomes a green lane. Lots of old trees there, like these oaks. And we turn off the path through this field. And so we exit through the gate and we turn right onto the lane. Now if you want to make a short loop and go back to the pub, just go to the end of Buns Lane, turn left and you're back at the pub. But if you want to carry on for the longer loop, we cross over this footbridge and follow the finger post. So, this is what we've got. Problem you always get walking. 
we've got a fairly well maintained style. The OS map says there's a footpath that runs straight across to the pub there. But we have do not enter telling us to go further up this footpath and along private property and an electric fence. Now I know that the Ordnance Survey maps can sometimes be a little bit out of date, even the online ones, so I'm not going to go through there today. But I will be checking at home on the Hampshire County Council's definitive rights away map. And if it's not the case that this path has been closed, then I shall be raising a complaint and this landowner will get a visit. But hey ho, we shall see what happens. So we're forced to carry on along this path, taking us out of our way. That is, I believe, an Ordnance Survey lack of an update. Because at the end of this fence in here is a stile and a footpath where there isn't one on the map. So I am concluding that that path has been diverted to avoid bothering the horses. Happy with that. And there's the chair makers. That's another alternate start and finish. Hello Dobbin. Hello then. So when we come to the road, we have a crossover into Forest Road alongside the chair makers. And just past the chair makers, we turn right into Atlas Lane. So for all you flat earthers that wonder what's at the world's end, it's the water treatment works. A nice collection of old GPO stuff, post box, telephone box. Look at that, still going after Crikey, 30, 40, 54 years, 1970. So as the lane bends round to the right, we enter Creech Wood to the left. Now Creech Wood is a small wood in the ancient Forest of Beer. So it's a funny name, isn't it? Forest of Beer. It sounds like there's one too many pubs around in the forest. But actually, beer is a Saxon word, and it means swine pasture. So it's a forest where the pigs used to come out to pasture. Uh, it was declared a royal hunting ground in 1066 by the Normans. And the last monarch to hunt here was Charles I in 1628. Forest of Beer comprises 1,140 hectares and is still subject to forest law. Even in the 1800s, if a chap was found with a gun, he could be uh, executed. And uh, the area was famous for its chair makers, hence the name of the pub at the end of the road. So we're just following the main path through. It's really pretty with the sun streaming through the trees. Although I've got to say I prefer Stoke Park Woods. And the copse is off, a bit more variety. The forest of beer stretched across the whole of the south coast and included woodland around Bishopstoke and Fair Oak and Wickham. And over here and down towards Haven, it was massive. But... Now we get to the log pile and we turn right. Not this small one. One through here. Mm. 
So come to a T junction. And we are going to take the right turn. Certainly a welcome bit of shade on this the hottest day of the year. Quite nice in the shade of the trees. And the path bends round to the left. And don't be afraid to follow this walk. If you follow it on the GPS, you can just follow the cursor along the blue line. You're not going to get lost. And we leave the woods at this point and join a road which we turn right onto. So a very short bit of road and then we're going to turn right. It was literally only a few yards and then we're back into the woodland again. Oh, now this bit can't be Forestry Commission, but you're all right on the public right of way, which is clearly defined. So this is a nice, well-walked path. And through the gate. A nice edge of the wood path. And the path brings us out into Upper Beckford. And we're going to turn left along the lane and then shortly turn right again. It's only a short distance on the lane, and then we turn right here at the finger post. We're on the Allen King Way now. Now the Allen King Way is a 43 mile long distance footpath, and it runs between Winchester and Porchester which are two Roman strongholds in the south. And Alan King himself was a member of Hampshire Ramblers. And so the route was named after him. So five bar gate. And we turn right. Make sure we shut the gate. At this point we go for the left hand path. There's the pub in the distance there, so I'll get to the main road, turn left and we're back at the pub. Well that's the last style of the walk and it's so hot I can't say I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we're going to turn left back to the pub. And here we are, we're back again. So here we are, steaming hot day. Can't say I'm sorry to be back here at the pub. Looking forward to the lunch. That's about five miles. Um, you can do it in a figure of eight, so you can do perhaps a mile and a half to the top figure of eight. Or you can do it all. Lovely playground for the kids. And uh, if you liked it, like and subscribe. But now, before I drip and run down the drain, I'm going to get in the pub and rehydrate. <laughs> Follow me.